Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are going to run over the new Ping I crossover mm. iron. Now we just finished the 430, mm -hmm. really impressed with that. And in the video with the irons, we talked a lot about gapping, options, yep. set composition. And I think this is where the I crossover iron has evolved so nicely into such a versatile product yep. uh, with the new uh, loft tune and sleeve. Um, tell us a little bit about how in the what we said, fourth generation? Yep, fourth generation. Um, crossover, how has that evolved into the product that it is now? So the crossover is like a half metal wood, half mm. iron, right? And I think we want to have really good fitting options there when you go from your irons, peak trajectory, Yep. and then you go hybrids a little bit higher, yep. fairway woods higher, the crossover is going to be right there between irons and hybrids in general, it's right? Depend on what I would depend on what irons are coming from. Yeah. But um, what's fun about the eye crossover is we've designed it to blend and we've kind of evolved the identity of this iron since the beginning. We're in mm -hmm. our fourth generation. Each generation has got a little bit smaller yep. and it's still not totally a driving iron, although we're going to give the two a run and that <laughs> might be considered a driving iron. <laughs> yep. But this iron is built to the crossover is built with a little bit also of that loft flexing technology. Okay. And that's oh, okay. actually what the hinge in the back is. Yep. Not just for aesthetics here. Got it. That Got actually it. activates as well and mm -hmm. gives us a little bit of that action that we talked about with the G430 iron where the, the crossover goes high. Gotcha. Right? So um, we it's it's smaller, it's more compact, mm -hmm. it has this cool, you know, hydro pearl finish on it yeah still kind of the hydro pearl finish is dark it makes the crossover look smaller shrink it down a does, little bit yeah. that's really smart it's slimming yeah slimming it indeed. does have a slimming <laughs> effect to it but it's really meant to be that iron okay let's say you're fit at your your i230 player mm -hmm. the four iron's going a little bit too low for you but yeah. you don't want to go right to a hybrid right. Mm -hmm. what's your option totally. you got the crossover it's kind of meant to fit that space to gap really well mm -hmm. with those we made some cool changes i mean it comes stock with our tour shaft um, so again, we're kind of building this stock instead of our Alta, now it's the tour shaft. Mm -hmm. We're kind of having the stock build spec B for the player that's an I type of player yeah. okay. and having that transition from a peak height and a gapping standpoint right. from those irons. So three loft options mm -hmm. and then from a fitting standpoint, unlocking the ability for use the fitter mm -hmm. and the end customer uh, to tweak the loft. Yeah which is primarily what we use it for in the drivers, but we also, you guys also know we can use it for low angle fitting. Yep. Well, in the crossover, it's more like an iron. We have a lot, we have lie angle settings, so now you can go up to three degrees flatter right. from our default uh, uh, lie That's really cool. position, and we can tweak the loft plus or minus up to plus mm -hmm. or minus 1.5 degrees, just like we do in our metal woods. That's wow. a ton of adjustability being, uh, being sort of uh, added in there. Does that give you guys some, uh, performance capabilities with re regards to the the, the metal and, and making it a little bit quicker because you're not really relying on, on bending bars, getting into the hosel and being able to be mm. soft enough so it bends. Yeah, totally, that's a good point. Now, yes, normally it is a challenge for mm -hmm. us to design a strong iron yep. that we can loft and lie plus or minus five degrees. Right. That yeah, is one of our biggest challenges. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, this the crossover uses a uh, miraging C300 mm -hmm. uh, material in the face, yep. which they use Super in landing strong. gear. Yeah. It's strong but flexible, yep. which usually those two things fight each other. Mm -hmm. Usually when you make a metal strong, it's brittle, right? Right. right or yeah. if you make it flexible, it's soft. So we've got three different heads. We've got the four, the three, the two, um, stock options, 23, 20, and 18 in the loft, but we have the plus minus. Exactly. Um, one That's and right. a half either yeah. side. Yep. So, I mean, we're, we've got a real large range here, 24 and a half yeah. to 16 and a half we can cover in the eye crossover. I love the eye designation in there as well. Yep. You know, having that, you know, towards a, a progression from one of, of the eye sets. I mean, totally. the real, the re I think the realistic nature of it is if you're a G player, you're probably more towards the hybrids than you are towards crossover. Exactly. I think, mm -hmm. you know, G430 in the long irons has probably similar capabilities from a flighting perspective and, yep. and that CG being so low that you're probably not having to look in this direction, yeah. but more of an evolution from an I-230 or a yep. uh, 59 yep. yeah. or even Blueprint. That's potential. exactly the change in the evolution. We've mm -hmm. molded this and that's what launched it with the 230 so we could kind of have it blend right in and right. be that be that transition option uh, for that type of player. Beautiful. Very cool. Okay, why don't we hit a few? I'm sure. uh, keen to see, uh, see your thoughts on the feel, mm. uh, the, the kind of flight. All right, Matty boy, so uh, non-traditional when we're testing long irons, I have a torque wrench. Yeah, uh, it's a little unusual, isn't it? Yeah. It's very unusual. So 
We're going to get some initial numbers off the, the standard loft flat setting. Correct. Right, so we are setting three degrees flat, standard loft, 23 degrees yep. uh, on the four iron. We know we're looking for around that 225, 230 number in terms of the carry. So we're going to go on the journey to, to achieve that. Sure. Um, you know, with our, with our uh, torque wrench here. So let's hit a few siders, see where we're at and go from there. Okay. Okay, slightly tuggy, but it's, I love that flight. The flight is great, it's just not the yeah. start line that okay. I had in mind. Okay. High, it looks high though. Yeah, what, uh, what did we see there, Martin? Yeah, 85, uh, 85 feet peak height. Okay. Oh, that's good. Nice. Very good. Looked like plenty of height to me. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great baseline flight, I think, Martin. What yep. did you see there? Yeah, 138 ball speed. Okay. Um, Peak height about 83. Okay. Um, a little high on the spin. That would say close to 6,000 on the spin. Huh. So that's where we, maybe we could play around with some things. Play with this a know? little bit. Well, okay. I didn't think it would spin that much. Me neither. I did uh, probably hit it a groove low. Groove so. low. That's nice. Mm. That felt really good. We get a little jumping ball speed there. Yeah. Good. 141. Nice. Lower launch, 12.2. 4,200 spin, peak high to 88, 220, 221. 220. Roughly close to what you're really, looking for. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Mm. That one pretty well also. Maybe a little yep. bit in the heel. The flight is really yeah. nice. 143 ball speed. Okay, mm -hmm. faster. Nice. Maybe more towards the middle. Maybe the, yeah. the Two, heel feels like the middle from 220 me. again. 220 again, so we're getting real consistency uh, on that and one. Carry. Did the spin kick up in just a hair there? A little bit, 4,800. 4, 48, okay. Yep. Wow. So this is performing like a really nice um, four, four iron. iron. You've got a four Not iron. so much a utility iron yet. I think, you know, three and two would perform that kind of functionality for you. So, you know, if you were looking to replace your four iron, this would, this would do its job fantastically. I would say well. this would be a perfect yeah. four iron replacement. Really, really nice. So yeah. why don't we go into something a little bit stronger sure. and start to kind of move that ball speed towards kind of the high 40s. And try to get like 235 out of it or yeah. something. Yeah, sure. I think that's a good shout. Okay, Matty boy, so moved into the three, stock loft at 20, but we've turned it to 19. Gotcha. We've seen the, the flight of those ones, as Marty said, was kind of in the high 80s in mm. terms of the uh, peak. This is going to be your kind of you, you know utility iron that you're probably going to use when you travel a little bit. Yeah. If you if you play, you know, you, you like to get down to Texas a little bit, and it's sure. you know, pretty windy. Real firm. We're, we're planning a few trips to the the UK in the summer, so you know, in Ireland or something like that, Scotland, we're, we're going to want something like this in the bag where you can flight it 25 feet below your your ideal peak Standard. window. Yeah, through the irons. And I'll also get the extra carry that we're looking for. Definitely. 10, 10, 15 yards. See this ball speed climb a little bit more towards the 146, 147 territory. Okay. That felt really nice. Ooh. I mean, total I change. No, if I could there. hit it any better. Ian said 146, 147. How about 146 and a half? That'll do us. He's usually, he's <laughs> usually pretty good at guessing. 73 feet peak height. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Land mm. angle coming in at 35. Yep. Beautiful. And as a base to work off of, you know, flighting it up, flighting it down. I like you could that. hit it high. Like that, as totally a stock shot, that was great. Yeah. yeah. But you could definitely flight it. How far did that carry, Mark? Carried 232. I mean, you've done it. It's right there. Rolled out to it? 252. Fanned it a bit, but it's actually a similar flight. You would not be upset with that at all, probably. No, no. Two twenty-five is to about that. Yep, right at two twenty-three. Okay. Ball speed stayed up there, one forty-three. Excellent. It's a lot. Yeah. That's nice. That's more like the first one. Yep. Yep. It yep. really one, comes off the face hot. One forty-six oh, ball speed. That's chasing a long yeah. way down the range there. What what those coming into the fairway at there, Martin? That's coming in at uh, thirty four point eight degrees land angle. Oh, it's carrying two thirty one. Yeah. And that's like a mirror. That's a mirror of that first one. Right. Yeah. yeah it was rolling the first. out to two fifty two. Yeah. Right. Seventy three cool. feet peak height. So. Yeah, I kind of see. I know a couple of them. I didn't mean to do it, but I sort of show what the what the fade flight looked mm -hmm. like. You can clearly hit that shot. Yeah. Open stance a bit 
flight it high. Absolutely. Or you can hit the shot I just hit that kind of knuckles a bit more and gives you 20 yards of roll. Yeah. Um, do you want to hit a couple of uh, stingy ones off, off the tee just and show that kind of that two iron With capability? The two? Let's do it, yeah. Yeah, I let's, think it'll be let's fun. really flatten that out one more. See how low we can hit it. Okay, we're into the strongest of the three options, the, the 18 degree two iron. We're going to set it at 17 degree. This is a purely tee club option for you. Yeah, um, we would just, take this overseas with us. Yes. Some firm fairways. Definitely, definitely. And if you found yourself kind of needing to kind of steepen out your delivery a little bit to stay on top of it and you, you felt like, you know, wood or hybrid would get you kind of backing uh, out it a little bit. You know, I love this option, um, you know, off the tee when you get over into the links or you play in windier conditions. Shorter shaft, is that why exactly. it helps you get steeper? Definitely. Okay, definitely. makes sense. A little bit of a shorter shaft, Matty boy. Um, I think there's another utility here as well with, uh, with with kind of the design of it, going shorter shaft, going a little bit more upright in the design and the ability to create the, the flat uh, lie settings. Mm -hmm. Ping, in my opinion, have done the best job at negating the hybrid's ability to, to turn over. Oh, right? It made that, that flat setting has is, is made it very anti-hook for the people who struggled with that. That's another layer of this. This is kind of be, you know on the next level because of the CG placement mm. on the on the crossover iron versus what you get with a wider bodied hybrid with the lie angle capability and the shorter shaft. Yeah. For players that do struggle with that shape, and I think that's a so this really is great option. Basically, you're saying it's a little more fade bias. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yep. Players can really fight that shape if they struggle with it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best not to try to help it in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Let it. Let it come out. Let the. Let it you know, come out low. If it's a, a you know little. Missile at 50 <laughs> feet? I think it's going to be. I won't play it back at my stance no, too no, much. No, it's, it's well up. It's, I'll just leave it. I think it's going to come out low. Let's get some good speed into this one. Like that one. Like that one. Woo! Just like that one. I actually love the look Love that. Flight. 149 on the ball speed. That's fast for an iron. Yeah. Land angle 20. 29, mm -hmm. peak height 57. Yeah, that's that's what we cool. were talking about. You're playing in the wind, you want yep. to control that peak height. And how Love far that. did that carry? Carried 232, Chase rolled to... out to 258. Lovely. A little lower than that, and then the other one, I think. A little lower. And that's, that's you've, you've done such a nice job there. So you're trying to kind of flight that one down, ball position, move back in the stance a little yes. bit, shifted the path a little bit more to the left. Tried to get a little more draw bias awesome. with it. Awesome, I love so that. Just moved there. your start line just a little bit there. That was that was perfect. Did we Got lower spin? 150 ball speed, well, a oh, 150, 150 ball good. speed, 6'6 yeah. six, six launch, 3100 spin. Awesome. So just a little bit more of a stinger. Right, right a little, little more stinger, man. In that Lab. 260 rollout territory. Exactly. This is a fun club. It is. Yeah. I expected it to be a nightmare, but it was actually... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can yeah. hit some great shots with it. Definitely, definitely. I think this one has evolved greatly. Beautiful. Guys, um, you know, I think what we're seeing with the evolution of the crossover is something that you guys, you know, need to explore in a fitting environment. Mm. You know, not something to walk in and, and you know, just, oh, I want to, I've got a you know, gap at 220, 230, whatever it might be, go through the process and get these fit like we always tell you to do. You know, don't just expect to, you know, plug and play, pop a club into the I bag agree. and expect it to, uh, to, to sort of, you know, work straight away. You want to take it through the process, get it fit, gap it, you know, make sure the progression from the irons into the woods is nice and seamless, nice transition. Uh, and, and I think that's what the guys have designed here, something that allows you to do that really, really easily. Yeah, I think it's a perfect complement to a set of I-230s yeah. or something like that. I can see having both in the back. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this segment. Stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.